everyone. I'm Marie from Southern Country Living, and uh, today it's really beautiful here today. I hope y'all are having nice weather, a fall weather, wherever you are today. And today I'm making a lemon meringue pie, and this uh, recipe will be in the description below. And uh, the ingredients in it is uh, going to be water, cornstarch, salt, sugar, lemon zest, egg yolks and lemon juice and then over here i have these ingredients for the meringue i have sugar egg whites and cream of tartar and uh, this little pie um is, is a simple little easy pie to make and uh it's easier if you uh use your pre-baked pie crust <laughs> and you don't make it and also uh, you can uh, use a graham cracker crust uh, for this pie and you can also um, make your own graham cracker crust if you don't like the fast and easy way but today I'm going the fast and easy way so let me get over here and get started on this really good pie okay the first thing I'm gonna do is add in my sugar and my cornstarch The next thing I'm going to do is add in my lemon zest. And my salt. Stir all this up real quick. Okay, I've got in all of my dry ingredients. And so now I'm going to add in my water. Okay, I'm going to stir this up real good before I turn on the burner. Okay, I'm going to turn this on to medium high heat and I'm going to continuously stir this till it comes up to a boil. All right, it's come to a boil now, so I'm going to take it off of my burner. And I'm going to add in my four egg yolks. So I'm gonna cook it for one minute. This color showed us look pretty in this lemon pie filling. This is cooked a minute now. So now I'm going to add in my butter. and my lemon juice. Mm -hmm. 
and now I'm going to pour it into my pie crust. So now I'm going to be putting in my lemon pie filling. All right, my pie filling came out really good and it's got a really good color to it. So I'm gonna let it sit here and cool before I make my meringue and put on it. Okay, my pie filling is cooled now. So now I'm gonna make the meringue. Okay, I'm gonna put six um, egg whites in. And I'm going to put my cream of tartar in. Okay, my meringue has formed stiff peaks, so now I'm going to put it on my pie. It's important that you get your meringue up close to the edges of your pie shell. I'm really glad that I got a stand mixer for Christmas this year because I would hate to have to <laughs> beat these up with my portable mixer mixture mixer
Okay, I'm going to put this in a 325 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Okay, my pie just came out of the oven and it really looks amazing. And so I'm going to have to put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. And I can't wait to eat a piece of it. Can you, Kevin? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> How long do you think it has to stay in the refrigerator? Uh, a couple of hours. Oh, so it's going to be this evening when we have our evening meal, right? Right. Well, I'm looking forward to it, Marie. It looks great. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I'll see y'all in a little while. All right, I'm back, and my pie's been in the refrigerator for about four hours. And so now I'm going to do the, I'm going to cut it and do the taste test. Okay, I'm back, y'all, and uh, the first time me and Calvin uh, cut into our pie, it wasn't quite ready, so the pie's been in the refrigerator now for about seven hours, and it's definitely ready. <laughs> so I'm going to do the taste test. So it's important when you make this pie to let it set up properly. Let me get a little bit of that meringue. Mm. That is delicious. So, y'all, if y'all make this pie, I'm sure you're going to like it. And it's really a delicious pie. And it can be a little tricky now when you make it. So, you have to follow directions uh, when you make this pie. Uh, how did you like this pie, Calvin? I loved it. It's very, very delicious. Okay. And uh, I couldn't ask for anything better than that. I definitely give it a five stars. Yeah, you I did do. A wonderful job. On it. I do. T I I give it five stars too. But like I say, now when you make it, it can be a little watery if you don't follow directions perfectly. And so, and it's important to let it set up. Uh, I would say seven hours is a good amount of time for it to set up. Y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me.